So you guys want to know the truth about day trading and becoming a day trader. You're thinking about becoming a day trader. You maybe read a website, a blog, you've been on Facebook, seen a YouTube video about people trading stocks. You're thinking about getting into it. Well, let me give you the truth that most of these videos won't give you right up front. And we'll start off with the biggest harsh reality of them all. Number one, if you're watching this video and you haven't started trading or you're thinking about trading, number one, get ready to lose all of your money. Wait, did he just say that? Wait, what? yep, get ready to lose all of your money, okay? So that's number one, ask yourself, are you ready to lose all of the money you have? If yes, good, you're ready to become a trader. Second, are you ready to dedicate at least one and a half to two of your years studying a new career. That's second. Yes? Good, let's move forward. So you just said that you're ready to dedicate a year and a half to two years of your life to learn this career. Because remember, it's not get rich quick, you're learning a career. How long does it take the average person to get through college to get the degree that they want to get the job that they want? Four years. So you might even be looking at four years of learning. So let's move on to number four. In order to learn how to trade successfully and make it in this business, you need money. So back to money, you have to be willing to put up the money in real time, meaning you are going to use your hard-earned money to learn it, just like you do in school, except in school, you're usually promised that if you finish this four-year degree, then you will get a job that will pay you X amount of dollars. The stock market does not say, hey, Spend $25,000 a year learning this game, and then after four years, you'll probably start making 70 grand a year. It doesn't promise you that. So this is an uncertain game, okay? You don't know for sure if you're going to ever make money. So maybe school is a safer route for you, okay? Secondly, number five. Well, what is number five? Ah, I guess I can make this one up. You're gonna be lonely, okay? Oh, become a day trader. Work the, you don't have to work nine to five. Enjoy your life. Hell, you're going to have beautiful women, a Ferrari. Hell, you're probably going to be drinking booze and hanging out with strippers all day long. Eh, false. False. Not true. You're probably not going to have a Ferrari. You're probably not going to have a boat. And you're probably not going to have strippers. Well, actually, no, you probably could have strippers because you could just pay them. But you're probably not going to have some super ridiculous supermodel that actually loves you unless you actually had a lot of money, then she probably is just using you. But so now that we've got that out of the way, this lifestyle you see of day traders, you're probably not gonna have, okay? So let's paint the picture of what it's really gonna look like to be a day trader. Oh, excuse me, for example, you're gonna wake up in your house at about, yeah, maybe seven, 7.30, depending on your time zone and what time the market opens. Um, if you're a responsible human being, you're probably gonna wake up and probably make some food in the morning, you know, maybe drink some water, start off on a healthy breakfast, um, which is important to make sure you eat before you trade and you work, your mind will be much smarter, much better, giving your brain fuel. So the vivid picture here is you're going to wake up in your house. You're probably not going to speak to anybody but your family members if they're in the house. You don't have coworkers, so you don't get to associate outside of your job with actual human beings unless you're in a chat room and then you can talk to other people within a community. But again, those are just online friends. So there's no actual face-to-face -face human interaction. So trading can get a little lonely at times. Have you guys ever been to the casino and lost money? Probably, if you're 21 and you're watching this video, you've probably been to the casino at some point and lost some money. Does it feel good losing money? Does it? No. You know when you're at the casino and you lose some money, the first thing you instantly think is, Mm, this next hand is going to be the winning one that I get my money back. Or if you're smart, you say, time to walk away. But if you're like most people, 90% of people, they will say, this hand's the next hand. I'm going to win this hand. And if you're like majority of people, you'll probably double down that bet at the casino thinking that if this is the hand, you're going to win back all your money and then some, and then you actually probably lose again. So using the casino as an example, you've probably all been there and lost some money. It doesn't feel good to lose money. When you lose that little bit of money, we have an emotional trigger in the head. That emotional trigger will say, fight or flight, okay? And in that situation, it's best to take the flight option and leave. But 90% of us want to be strong and fight that, right? So 
at the casino, you would probably bet again and try and win, then you're gonna lose more. So the vivid real picture is as a trader, you're gonna be in your house by yourself in front of computer screens that don't talk to you and you're going to have to make decisions every single day that are built on risk. Do you see yourself as a risk taker? Yes or no? Answer that question in your head. I won't hear you if you answer it, so I don't care what you pick. But ask yourself, are you a risk taker? If yes, this career might be for you. If not, shut the video off, go get a four-year college degree. I don't care, do whatever you wanna do. This is probably not for you. So you need to be able to afford and take risk every day. Huh, okay. Do you know what happens when you take big risk every day? Hmm, you become emotional. You have uh, your decision making and thought process becomes highly affected when you're taking big risk every day. But remember, with risk comes reward. So if you don't take risk in life, you're just not gonna have much reward, okay? So if you want this lifestyle of boats and strippers, which you're probably not gonna get, you gotta take risk, okay? So if you can't afford or don't wanna take risk, not the business for you. And then know that every day when you're taking the type of risk that I do and a lot of us traders do, it can affect your emotions pretty, pretty crazy, okay? So what happens on days where you're a day trader and you lose a lot of money? Well, let's reflect back. So you guys get a perspective. Now, some of you guys won't go as balls of the walls as me or as big of a bet as me, but I've had days over the course of like three or four days where I've lost $30,000. Literally, I think my biggest losing trade was $31,000 over the course of four or five days. So it wasn't, it was one trade, but not in like one sitting, but it took like four days. I lost 30 grand. So imagine how I felt after that after losing $30,000, more than the average person makes in an entire year I lost in four days. What kind of a schmuck must I be? I should have just gave that $30,000 to some random kid on the street. Would have done much more good, right? We're getting phone calls. I gotta go to the gym, but this is an important video, so. Bitch button. So, more importantly, again, when you lose $30,000, that can really affect your emotions, right? So when your emotions get that affected, what do you think is gonna happen to your everyday regular life? Well, if I lose $30,000 in my work life and my work life is at home, where I just lost $30,000 $30, is right upstairs on my computer and I'm living in the same house, so I'm working and living in the same environment that I just lost $30,000 in. Does not feel good, no that's when trading can really affect your personal life. And in situations like that, it has led to me not going to the gym, uh, not eating properly, not even eating, staying in bed, Netflixing and chilling all day, which by the way, I'd probably do regardless of losing $30,000 anyways, in which I'd say you guys would too. So I guess we can all agree there. So again, it can have a very negative effect on your personal life because it's such a, and I don't even wanna call it necessarily high risk, but you're just taking risk, right? Okay, if you know what you're doing, right, you eliminate risk. If you don't know what you're doing, then of course it's high risk. So in the beginning, when you don't know what you're doing, you're in a high risk game. The longer you're there, the more you learn, the less risky it becomes. But as you're starting out, and these are the things to keep in mind, you're gonna be taking risk every day. The type of risk that if goes wrong, it can affect your personal life to the point where you don't go to the gym. Maybe you're not eating. Oh, you're supposed to go hang out with a friend. Maybe you're gonna cancel those plans because you just kinda wanna sit and think to yourself. On days like that where you lose a lot of money, you're really going to doubt yourself and doubt is this what I should be doing? Because if you lose 5,000 a day, what if you lose 5,000 tomorrow and then you lose 5,000 the next day and a couple thousand the next day? Soon, you're not gonna have any money to trade with and your career is gone. There is no assurance, there is no security, okay? Oh, oh, here's a good one. You wanna be a day trader, right? Did you know that, I don't get health insurance, I have to pay for that out of pocket myself, so for some people, maybe working a nine to five is better because you kinda of have a pretty straightforward plan. Your, your job might offer you benefits, healthcare, things like that, a customized 401k plan, 
So that might just be the easy route, right? And some of you guys might want to take. So I think I've done enough spieling here, enough talking. I think I've been real enough to give you a little bit of insight on what it's really like behind the scenes of a trader. Risk, emotion, sometimes it can be lonely, sometimes it's a hell of a lot of fun, uh, and really that's it. Uh, I don't drive a Lamborghini, I have a pretty nice house, I could afford some really nice things, but I'm a trader and I'm an investor and I know what a smart investment is. And personally, a big yacht, a super fast sports car, for me in my life, it's really not the best investment. Maybe when I have a lot more money, then maybe I'll buy one of those, probably. But as an investor, those aren't smart investments. So you also must ask yourself, when you see videos of people that are traders and they have these really crazy boats and fancy lifestyles, is that really a good investment? If they were a good investor, why would they be making such a bad investment? That's something else to also ask yourself. So I think I've done enough spieling here. I hope you guys like the video and I hope that opens, some, your, uh, so opens up some of your guys' eyes. I've probably goofed up a few words in here, but I'm not one for do edit, to do editing. So you're just gonna have to deal with this video the way it is. So I hope you guys like the video. Do give it a thumbs up, please like it, please share and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to stay tuned into our pre-market watch list. Happens every single day, Monday through Friday at 8.30 8, yeah, at about 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So have a good day, guys. Stay green. Cheers, and I'll see you guys later.